The new David Beckham documentary on Netflix has become a hot topic about the status of his relationship with Glenn Hoddle. This four-part series delves into the highs and lows of David Beckham's life and career, addressing pivotal moments such as the infamous affair allegations and his tenure as the captain of the England national team. One particularly revealing moment in the documentary involves Beckham discussing his battle with depression following the 1998 World Cup. During the 1998 World Cup, Beckham received a red card for kicking an opponent during a game against Argentina. This incident resulted in him becoming the public enemy number one, and England subsequently lost the match in a penalty shootout. Manager Glenn Hoddle publicly held David responsible and stated that he had let the country down. Hoddle resigned from his position as England manager in 1999. Interestingly, Glenn Hoddle does not make an appearance in the Beckham documentary. Fisher Stevens, the director, revealed that they had attempted to reach out to Hoddle on numerous occasions but were unsuccessful in getting him to participate. When asked about Hoddle's absence, Fisher responded, Well, why don't we call him right now and ask him? I called him and asked him to be in it many times. I mean, I didn't personally, but we contacted his people. I guess he just wasn't interested in being in the series. While neither David Beckham nor Glenn Hoddle has publicly commented on the status of their relationship since the 1998 World Cup, it appears to be strained. In the documentary, Victoria Beckham, David's wife, criticized the former manager, saying, Glenn Hoddle didn't come out and try to protect him. And how old was David, 23? You're a kid at 23. Glenn Hoddle was a man. I wouldn't say a man actually, he was an older person. David's mother, Sandra, echoed a similar sentiment, expressing her dissatisfaction with Hoddle's actions during that time. Hoddle is on my hit list, of people that upset me. I thought, what have you done? He made out that it was David's fault. And we've been used to a manager. Alex Ferguson never spoke about his team.